so today I'm so a couple of you guys keep asking me Annie how do you do marble painting and if you want to paint why is this so difficult right now I don't understand okay one more time hi my darling so today I want to show you how to do a marble looking painting for some of you that's been asking me you guys want more of a marble look and less of the cell look so we're gonna need a few things we're gonna need whatever size canvas you need I today am going to be using a new paint that I haven't actually talked about at all with you guys, so I'm going to be using Craft Smart. So these little bottles, I think they're about 59 cents a piece. They're also very liquidy, um, so we're not going to be mixing them with any water today, and that's why I like this brand for this type of marble painting. So you need your paint, your canvas, and you can, you know, pick whatever colors you want. Today I'm going to be using like a, this is called, this is an orange, grape taffy, golden brown, and coral. So I'm going to put all these colors together and I'm going to put all the names of these paints in my description guys and then we are going to need a little bit of saran wrap okay so this is going to be a really quick really easy tutorial so here we go okay my darling so this is what we're going to do we're going to get one color at a time and we are going to just put it kind of drizzle it make fun patterns and on to the next color. Make sure you shake that bottle really, really well. So this was that uh, dark gray color, which beautiful color, I love it. This is the coral color. So we shook that up. Now, don't overthink it guys. We're just gonna kind of put it all over. So this is called golden brown. A little bit of that. All right, now here's some color. I love, love, love this orange. It's a really bright, beautiful color. So here's some contrast. Okay, now purple. I love this color. It's called grape taffy, guys. And orange and purple always go well together. So. I love these colors. All right, let's do that. And then you can go back, guys, and add a little bit more of any other color that you want. Get a nice balance. Look at that, that already looks really cool. Kinda looks like a Jackson Pollock, huh? All right, okay. So once you're done, put your tubes away. And now we're going to get a piece of saran wrap, right? So make sure it's bigger than the piece and we're just gonna lay it on there. Once you lay it on there, this is the fun part. So we're gonna smush it. Smush it and cover the entire surface of your canvas. There we go. Get all, make sure you get all the corners so you don't have anything white. And if you guys want, you can actually paint the um, canvas before you do that, just in case you don't cover um, every little bit. You'll still have all of it covered in the beginning. All right, so once we do this, we're just going to lift the saran wrap. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on here one more time. Do that a little bit. Okay, ooh, that looks so cool, you guys. All right, so, you know, usually when you do pour painting, I use my little torch to get all these air bubbles out, so I'm gonna do the same thing for this. Here's our handy dandy little torch. Let's get all those air bubbles out. And since we didn't put any medium in this, guys, and we didn't really put any other um, water or soap or anything like that, you're not really gonna get cells in here. I make it like a little couple baby ones because of the uh, air bubbles, but that's it. So you guys can experiment with this, guys. So basically, just put your colors, get a piece of saran wrap, blot it up, take it off, and you have this beautiful marble color. Look at all those purples and oranges. I love it. All right, guys, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys learned. And don't forget, guys, make sure you click that little button and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, share on your Facebook, and I will talk to you guys soon.